Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create space or sci-fi themed paintings inspired by nature. One day, I was walking my dog in a nearby forest and I found this really amazing fallen tree in the middle of the path we were walking on. I really liked the perspective and it kind of reminded me of a spaceship. So I started to sketch. I liked how the branches were spreading out from the tree trunk and I wanted to incorporate them into my imaginary spaceship. I usually sketch a little bit when I start a new painting, but nothing too detailed work. Then I started to paint. This time I decided to use a purple colored space, so I mixed some magenta and phthalo blue. And with a very large brush, I just tapped the colors in. For my spaceship, I used some masking tape. I found that this is the easiest way to get really clear lines without using a ruler or anything like that. Next, I started to add some branches of the spaceship. And again, I used some masking tape to create really sharp and even lines. Every now and then, people ask me where I get my inspiration for all these space and sci-fi paintings. Well, as you can see here, I think I draw inspiration from pretty much anywhere. This time it was a tree trunk. Next time it might be a pile of rocks, I see. Or something totally else. With space and sci-fi fantasy worlds, it doesn't really matter what you get inspired by. It only takes imagination. These are worlds that none of us has ever seen, so basically we are free to do whatever we want. My idea was to paint a spaceship traveling through a light nebula. So I needed to create some kind of light and shadows on the hull of the spaceship. So I just used a little bit of white and black and Prussian blue. Prussian blue goes really well with metallic surfaces when you mix it with a little bit of black and white. Next, I needed some kind of a texture to my spaceship hull to make it a little bit more interesting. So I started to add this little bit of angled white patterns on the hull. It was a bit time consuming, I have to admit, but I feel it's worth the effort. At this point, I realized that I had to add some small details to my branches as well. So I took again my little brush out and started to make those same angled patterns. I know this might seem a bit excessive for someone, but I have to admit I'm the kind of person who really likes to do little details all over. It was actually kind of meditating to do this painting. Mm -hmm. 
after I had painted all those little patterns on the hull, um, I started to create small whites. And again, I took out my small brush and started to dab some Naples yellow. I don't like to use cadmium yellow uh, against really dark background, because cadmium yellow is quite opaque paint. Naples yellow is usually much better for this kind of work. I realized at this point that maybe I was a bit too excessive with my yellow lights, so I took out some magenta and dabbed very gently on some of the yellow lights. I think it kinda tones out those very bright lights and gives the hull a bit more depth. And finally, I just added a little bit of white glazing in the background behind the spaceship to really make the spaceship pop out of the background. And this is how it turned out. Lots of little details, but I really like the end result.